Good morning, YouTube. So, uh, we're going to do a little project today on the X3, and uh, we have some noise going on in the front, and uh, we're going to go over that. I'll give you a little background on it. This thing, we took it to Barstow to Prim, and probably the West Coasters will know where that's at. And what basically it's almost to Las Vegas. Uh, into California and uh, it's about 125 miles each way so we did a round trip on it and it's all desert riding um, but on that ride we were hearing a lot of clunking and thumping and so on and feeling in the floorboard so I try to get out and replicate the noise and basically this is what we were hearing Only the noise was a lot worse than that. So, I've already replaced the axles on this. Apologize, I did that before we even started this channel. <laughs> um, I replaced all four axles and I went with the Titans from S3 Motorsports. And so far they seem to be working out pretty good. Um, the fronts are definitely beefier. They're supposed to have a higher CV angle for <clears throat> more uh, wheel travel before it causes damage to the CV. Now the rear axles, they pretty much look the same, honestly, to the factory. Uh, not a whole lot of difference on the rears, uh, but nonetheless, I changed all four of them. While I had the axles out, I went ahead and took the diff out and I did the torque locker upgrade. Torque locker. Not a big sticker guy. Probably not gonna put that on the car. <laughs> so on the next ride we went out, it was to Glamis, as you can tell by the tires that are on here. It was just a day ride. So went on the ride, here I had gone through the diff and I tightened up all the rain gear bolts. I uh, used Loctite on them, I put the torque locker in there, four new axles, and the noise we thought went away, but as we put more time on the car during the day, the noise came back. This noise that I showed you, the axles didn't have that noise when I first put these new axles on, but as they wore in, they loosened up a little bit, and so some of that noise came back. We're feeling the noise mostly in the floorboard which made me think about the drive line. But I grabbed the drive line and it's nice and solid. I had previously pulled the drive line, relubricated it, took it out of the rear diff, and just basically made sure everything was good with it and relubed it. So now what I'm thinking is, and I had this issue on the Razor before, is the coolant lines. So we got these soft coolant lines coming out of the radiator and they go back and they go into some hard lines. The hard lines go down through the tunnel of the car to the back to the engine. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is where they come out and they go to the engine and provide the coolant goes to the thermostat and so on. So what I'm gonna to try today is I'm gonna take the tunnel cover off on the driver's side. This plastic piece here will expose the drive line, expose the cooler lines, and I'm gonna see if there's anything loose in there. So that's our project. So to do this, I'm gonna take the seat out because I wanna take that panel off and I wanna take the panel off that's tucked there behind the seat so I get maximum exposure. Something I've done uh, recently, and this is gonna be the first time that I put this together and, and take advantage of it, is I put these pins in the front instead of the uh, bolts. Now, I was very concerned about rattles with the pins, but we did our ride, we did over 300 miles, and uh, I don't know if it, the noise of the engine covered it up or what, but um, there was no noise about the rattle there at all. Um, might have been some squeak, 
Uh, that's telling me right now, but maybe just a real thin film of grease on there would take care of that. So all I gotta do is pull these pins and then use my handy dandy screwdriver with a number 18 socket and access those bolts through those access holes and I'll pull the seat out. The nice thing about taking it out this way is this seat belt uh, side of it comes out with the seat. The only thing is this is still tied to the seat down below with the number 16 nut. What I've done before is just take the seat out and hang it down below. This is my first time on the lift, so we'll see how that's going to work. Well, that worked out pretty good. Um, seat goes all the way to the floor. Seat belt's long enough. Yeah, I know I still use the stock seat belts. I haven't put my uh, five points in. I'm usually a pretty big proponent of the five points with my razors. But I can tell you that this car, you're sucked into the seats and it's such a low center of gravity. It feels pretty good with the uh, factory seats and the factory seat belts. So now you can see that that panel is exposed, both panels. We're gonna pull those off. We're gonna take a look. A little something I did here is I added like three thick washers, just to raise the back of the seat up a little bit. Um, bent metal who made my windshield, which is an excellent windshield by the way. They have a kit to raise this up. I think um, one or two inches, you use two different uh, adapters depending on how far you want to go. Okay, so here we are. We're going to try to take these panels out. I'm gonna do my best here to help you guys with the lighting. So this just release a little tension. And these are just kind of held in with some snaps. There we go. There's one. Uh, I'll give you a closer look in a minute, but uh, you can see I have a Sandcraft carrier bearing. And let's work on this back panel. I don't know if this, here we go. This should come out separate. This one, I don't think it's been out before, so it's gonna be a little bit stiffer. There's a clip right there. You don't want to lose those little blue keepers. There. So now we have some good exposure. Oh, speaking of blue keeper, there's one right there. See? Don't want to lose those. Those are kind of like the little locks. They go in here on top of the little protrusion on the uh, side panel. So here is my Sandcraft carrier bearing that I had installed. And let's take a look. See, there's our noise. There it is, right there. My Sandcraft carrier bearing took a shot. It took a shot. There's the noise. Can you see that? I can. Um, I'm gonna have to put a call in to my boys and let them know what's going on there. Tell them, hey, 
this ain't right. Or, let me do some more investigation here. There's a chance the bearing's okay, but where this rides on the bearing is wrong. So we're gonna work on that next. So what I gotta do now is basically take that off. I think something that might be going on is there's a circlip or something back there that keeps this so it rides forward. I don't know, we're gonna work on that. See if we can find out. <laughs> 